So when we're assessing using our screening tools for cognitive impairment, what uh, is useful to know is kind of what those cutoff scores look like. So with the exception of the MINICOG, really the MMSE, the MOCA, and the SLUMS all have fairly similar scoring associated with it. So 0 to 30 is the range with lower numbers indicating greater impairment. And items on these tests include things like drawing clocks, remembering words, doing, uh, you know, kind of basic math, assessing orientation, like, you know, uh, date, place, etc. Um, being able to think abstractly, so associating words together, like, you know, apple and banana are both fruit sort of thing. <clears throat> and... 26 to 27 is usually considered normal. So sometimes people have mistakes, right? They may have a bad day. And then as those numbers go down, their level of cognitive impairment as assessed is more significant. And this is important too when you're looking at things like clinical trials to see what level of cognitive impairment the study group is including because sometimes they will include thing, uh, individuals that are like 25, 26, 27. So that looks really quite mild cognitive impairment. And the general cutoffs that I uh, suggest is really anything that is below 27, 26 is going to be in that kind of sitting in that mild range. But really the general cutoff that we recognize is looking at 23 to 18 as like clinically significant mild impairment. So that's going to be the, the difficulty with finances. Um, getting lost easily, um, difficulty with, with some more complex type tasks. 10 to 17 is more moderate, so you're going to see some more impairment in activities of daily living, disorientation, um, forgetting like notable details of things, fluctuation in um, their presence, their functionality. They really can't drive at that point. They may become... Uh, have more of those behavioral type symptoms. And then in zero to nine, most of the time they really can't even finish those types of cognitive assessments. And they oftentimes lose their verbal abilities, their abilities to take care of themselves. Um, they become incontinent and require essentially 24-7 care.